Welcome back. Next, we're going to work on optimizing this mini palette page just a little bit. Excuse me, the palette list page, which is composed of a bunch of mini palettes. It's not going to be a huge change. You're not going to notice it as far as uh, visually or anything. But what's happening right now, when we delete one of these palettes, these mini palettes, all palettes are being re-rendered. So we probably don't see it. But when I delete one, we can prove this. First, uh, just by knowing how React works, we've seen this before. If we go into our app.js, we have state that is managing all of the palettes. And then when those palettes change, it causes a re-render and it renders all of these mini palettes again. Even if they look the same, nothing has changed for these individual mini palettes. It's really just this one if we delete it or this one if we delete it but the components don't change. They shouldn't be re-rendered, but they are right now. And we can prove that by going into mini palette, mini palette, there you are. We can go into render and let's do a console.log re, or let's just do rendering. And then afterwards we'll add the palette name, which is not gonna work until palette name is grabbed from the props. So we'll do that down here, okay. Let's open up the console. So we get rendering, material UI, all of them are rendered once. We delete one. And look at that, already, nothing changed with these other palettes. But we open this one up, delete, and they all get re-rendered again. We don't want that to happen. There's a very easy fix. These components aren't changing. We could manually implement a method, which is called should component update. If we put should component update instead of our component, it's going to pass in the next props and the next state if applicable. And we can return true or false based off of the next props. So we could say if the props are the same, if the next props are the same as the current props, return false, do not re-render this or this, only re-render the one that we're deleting, which it does already. And it doesn't actually re-render it, it just removes it. So instead of that, there's an even easier way where we don't have to implement should component update, and that is called pure component. So pure component is a top level React piece that we can inherit from or extend rather than component. And the only difference is that component doesn't implement should component update, pure component implements it with a shallow prop and state comparison. So if your React component receives the same next props and next state, then it's not going to automatically re-render. So we don't have to implement the logic if we use pure component. So let's do that now. Change component to pure component, change that, and that's all we have to do. We'll keep this rendering right here, and let's see how many we get now. So I'm gonna refresh. So we give it a go again. They all render once at the beginning, and you might think they're not going to render again, but something is changing in the props. Let's see where. So our mini palette has no state. It gets some props. We've got handle click, colors, emoji. None of that should change. Let's look at our palette list where we render the mini palettes. See if you can spot the issue. So where are we doing that? Here's our mini palettes. There's one problem. This is the culprit. We've talked about this before. When you use an arrow function in render, in line, you're creating a new function every time render is called. So the first time everything is rendered, each mini palette gets its own function, a new function. Then when we update something in the parent, there's a brand new version passed down as handle click. So when pure component does the comparison to say, Okay, the key hasn't changed, the ID hasn't changed, open dialog is the same reference, color is the same, whatever else is the same. Handle click will not be the same. So it decides, oh, we are supposed to render this. The props did change. Even though they weren't supposed to change based off of what we passed in, at least we don't expect them to change, but props are changing. They're different every single render because of this. So let's get rid of that. How can we fix it? Well, we have our go-to palette right here. We're passing it in and we're calling it with the ID. Let's instead pass in this dot go to palette. Then inside of the palette or the mini palette, we'll reference handle click right here on click equals handle click. 
we could just do the inline arrow function here, and this won't cause a re-render because we're inside of the render of mini palette. So handle click, and then we pass in the ID, which we can grab from props. That's being passed in as well. Let's see if that changes anything for us. So we refresh, we get our initial renders. Look at that, we didn't get any more renders. If we delete it, no more renders. Now Pure Component is doing what we expected it to do. It's not re-rendering every single time something changes in the parent state because these aren't changing. So this is a very useful thing to be aware of, and this is why I don't like using arrow functions in line. Sometimes it doesn't really matter. It's okay if we're making a new function here, at least on a small app like this. We're not, you know, this doesn't determine if another component renders down here. There are no sub components, there are no child components. But if we wanted to just be double sure and not use any inline arrow functions in render, then we could just make a separate function here, right? We could call this uh, handle, we already have handle click. So let's rename this to be handle click. Here, the prop we pass down will be called go to palette or change page or what should we call that? Uh, Eh, go to palette is fine. Then here, we're going to change this to be this dot handle click, which we'll call this handle click, which we'll call this dot props dot go to palette. And then we need to pass in this dot props dot ID. And then we need to bind this dot handle click equals this dot handle click dot bind this. Okay. So it's a little more work but now we have no inline functions that are being defined with arrow functions inside of render. And that's just better because we're not making new functions. Let's just double check that it still works. So we get our initial group of renders printed out, nothing new. When I actually delete, nothing changes. They have not been re-rendered. One small issue we have to address is that the link doesn't actually work right now. And that's because we were binding in palette list in line. We were setting the value of this right here by using our arrow function. Now, this dot go to palette is not bound anywhere. So it doesn't know the value of this. So this dot go to palette equals this dot go to palette dot bind this blah, blah, blah. Save, refresh, let's go back. Now we're able to go and visit each individual palette. Okay. So that's pure component. So I'm going to commit. Well, I already committed. I forgot to record it. Refactor with pure component.